Hello YouTubers, this is Sham and here in front of me is Dice Plus. It was first shown off at the Seabed conference in Hanover in 2012 and was developed by a group of engineers from Poland. In March 2014 it won the Golden IF Product Design Award. So let's start with the unboxing. The die is packed in a card box with various informations about it listed on the back. On the box you will also find an App Store and Google Play Store logos which inform you about the compatibility of the die with iPads as well as Android tablets. Once you open the box you will find your Dice Plus, instruction manual which will show you how to turn on the device as well as how to pair it with your tablet, charge it or download games, a booklet with information about the product, a short USB charging cable with blue cotton wrapping, and additionally a small carrying pouch to safely store your die. Moving on to the build of Dice Plus, it is a cube made of plastic with rounded edges and 26mm tall walls. It weighs 25 grams. The walls have a rubberized white coating and in between them lies blue plastic. The manufacturer guarantees uniform mass distribution that ensures true randomness of roll results. The die automatically switches on and the numbers on the walls light up after you rotate it upside down. The built-in lights are multicolored RGB LEDs. The wall with number 1 has a small arrow that points to the location of the micro USB charging port. To gain access to the port, you need to slide the cover forward. When it comes to the spec sheet, Dice Plus is equipped with Bluetooth 2.1 as well as 4.0, magnetic field sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor, temperature sensor and ARM microcontroller. To begin playing, first we need to download a free app called Powered Board Games. You can find the link on the manufacturer's website dicepl.us. Once you launch the app, you'll see a short video and then the app will start pairing your tablet with the device. The pairing is done via Bluetooth, so you'll need to have it switched on. Flashing blue lights on the die inform you that it is ready to be paired. After a few seconds, you'll be in the game selection menu. There are 6 games available for free with the purchase of the die, but you can also download a few other available titles. At this moment, there are only 12 games in total and a few more showing as coming soon. After you scroll to my profile, you'll see a list of various achievements that get unlocked as you roll the die. Here you'll also find statistics, which is the only place that actually shows you the battery level in the device, as it doesn't have any other built-in indicator. In settings menu, you can switch on the power saving mode. Now let's move on to the most important part of the video, and that is the performance in gaming. To start playing, you need to tap the title on the game's list twice. First of all, I want to show you a demo game called Wings of Fire, which is a flight simulator and demonstrates what Dice Plus is capable of. To start playing, you need to have the die positioned in your hand so that number 3 is facing up and number 1 towards you. Your airplane will now start accelerating on the runway. Once it reaches the end, you will be in full control of the flight with the use of Dice Plus. Tapping number 3 on the die will fire missiles and holding finger on the number will fire machine guns. Of course, this is in no way an ideal method to play this sort of games, but it illustrates potential uses of the die in gaming. Of course, the Wing of Fire game is not a classical application of a die. Let's move on to the titles that are provided with the purchase. The first game on the list, which I'm sure all of you have heard of, is Backgammon. This board game title, played even in ancient times in Europe and Asia, is a true classic. I'm not gonna go into the rules here, but I can tell you that the game worked flawlessly with Dice Plus. The next game on the list is Dice Plus Heroes. You can choose between 2-4 to four players and you have an option to play against the computer so you don't need a second person. Even though the game might have a different name and a 3D design, it is in fact just another classic board game invented in Germany called Ludo. To win the game you need to get all of your pawns, or in this case robots, around the board to your safe house. Chuchumba is yet another title on the list. This game is designed for kids to strengthen the memory and the ability to add and subtract. After you roll the die, you have to guess the car in which the character on the screen will be after moving that number of cars clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the direction of the arrow shown on the screen. There are a few difficulty levels in the game and in the hardest, the character's position will not be shown in between the die rolls, so that you need to memorize its original location. Next on the list is Rainbow Jack. This is a strategy game for two players. Each player gets 5 rolls in different colors. To win the game you need to get a sum of 21 in any of your 5 rows. 
After each roll, the die will flash in one of five colors. You can select to subtract or add the number shown on the die from your column or from your opponent. If none of the players manages to get 21, the person with the highest sum from all rows wins. Next game is one of my favorite and can be very engaging especially when played against one of your friends. The rules are extremely simple. On the board you will find fields in various colors. After each roll you need to place fingers in the number shown on the die on fields in a certain color. To get points you can't take your fingers off the tablet until your opponent rolls the die and places theirs. This game actually reminds me a little bit of Twister. The last free title is This Way Up. This is yet another board game in which after you choose your alien character you race across the board to the finish. On your way you'll find animals in various sizes that you can abduct to get extra points. Unlucky Black Cat will subtract points from your sum. At the end of the race the person who finishes first will get bonus points and the player with the highest total number of points wins. There are also a few more paid games available for Dice Plus. One of which worth mentioning is The Pirates. It costs about $2 and is characterized by beautiful graphics and interesting gameplay. It has a lot of rules, so it would be hard for me to cover them all here. In short, you have to place bets on cards with ships that you want in your pirate fleet. To conclude, I would like to share with you some of my impressions. When it comes to the design, the lights are not very bright and thus numbers are difficult to see in bright surroundings. The materials used to construct the die make an uncomfortable sound when dice plus is rolled and don't impress at first. But the more I used the dice, the more I liked it. The worst drawback of all us as of this moment is the lack of games. I personally only like 3 or 4 from the ones available. I feel like games such as Monopoly or Classic Snakes and Ladders or some drinking games perfect for student parties are missing. After trying out the flight simulator I also think that there should be a gamepad accessory with a die slot as it could be a perfect steering wheel in car racing games for example. Overall the Dice Plus is a great project and has a huge potential. Until more games become available for most users, this will be just a toy for a few hours. I personally eagerly wait to see what the future developments will be like and hope that manufacturers assurances of 100 developers currently working on games will bear fruit. The price of the die is also reasonable and is set at $30. I hope that you've enjoyed my review. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. See you soon!